leprosy, infection, poison, Bergoglio. The Code of Canon Law, Article 751, defines heresy as the stubborn denial or doubt about a truth to be believed in the divine and Catholic faith. Heresy is the product of an innovating mind, of a know-it-all, of a reformer, of an intellectual who claims to know more than the Church itself or God himself. At present, Jorge Mario Bergoglio, after assuming the role of Pope of the Catholic Church as a result of a notorious election that has a dubious history, has introduced a series of reforms in the Church and has said hundreds of heresies, some of which he has immortalized using the authority of the Church, as he did in the Amoris Laetitia exhortation in which he presents heresies that disallow the sixth commandment of the law of God and promote immorality. Laudato Si, which promotes idolatry and worships Mother Earth. Heresies. This man feels above God when he vomits out his terrible heresies. Let us look at only three violent heretical comments about Jesus about the Virgin Mary and about the Holy Trinity to understand the magnitude of the evil heretical spirit that possesses this false prophet. For example, in a mass celebrated in Villa Vicencio, Colombia in September 2017, Francisco said this diabolical heresy. Pagan blood runs through the veins of Jesus. This heretical statement can be interpreted as if Jesus is a pagan, as if Jesus is not the Son of God, as if Jesus is not a Jew but a pagan, since the Jews were God's chosen people. What a heresy! On December 21st, 2018, speaking about the Virgin Mary and St. Joseph, Bergoglio said, Saints are not born, they are made, and this is true for them too. This is also a great heresy against the Blessed Virgin Mary, because it begins by denying the Immaculate Conception, which is a Catholic dogma. Apart from this, it denies that Jesus, being the Word of God incarnate, the second person of the Holy Trinity, God Himself, was not born holy, but became holy. What a heresy! Bergoglio also denies that St. John the Baptist was sanctified in the womb of his mother, St. Elizabeth, by the Holy Spirit. So this heresy says many things with a little phrase from the devil. What a heresy! In March 2017, Bergoglio, speaking in the midst of his jokes, said that within the Holy Trinity, everyone is arguing behind closed doors, but on the outside, they give the image of unity. This is diabolical. Since God is holy and tells us in Romans chapter 11, verses 33 to 34, oh, the depth of the riches of the wisdom and knowledge of God, how unsearchable his judgments and his paths beyond tracing out who has known the mind of the Lord, or who has been his counselor? This Mr. Bergoglio he speaks as if he knew God better than God himself and makes fun of the unity of the Holy Trinity. What a heresy! We see then how heresy in our Catholic religion is an idea that grows into an ideology which can change the face of our religion and then destroy it. The Church, being the body of Christ, suffers with heresies as if it received a virus, an infection, and a poison that makes it suffer. Bergoglio has contaminated the Church with his heresy viruses that are worse than COVID-19. They are a diabolic poison, an infection that affects the body of Christ, suffocates it and kills it. The Virgodian coronavirus is a deadly virus for the Church, 
and it has triumphantly put it into quarantine. Moreover, the church is dying just as Jesus did after being betrayed, sold, and then crucified to die on the cross. Bergoglio's services remain unnoticed by those who have no discernment, by those who do not care. The majority of the bishops, priests, and laymen defend Jorge Mario Bergoglio with cloak and sword. Moreover, they give their lives for him because they are putting a man above God. They are practicing papalism. They need courage to confront the son of the father of lies that governed them. In this YouTube channel, The Work of God, we have a list of videos on this subject. And in future videos, we will analyze more heresies of this fierce wolf that is destroying the flock of Christ. God is very angry because of this man, and the whole church is paying for it. This salaried shepherd, instead of taking care of the sheep that had been entrusted to him, is leading them to perdition. Repent, Bergoglio, in the name of Jesus. Stop destroying the church. Be converted and stop deceiving with your many faces with your destructive ambiguities, with your sepulchral silence. Respond. You have already caused enough damage. May God forgive your sins. If you like this video, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel, The Work of God, share on social networks, and don't forget to leave your valuable comments. How did you like this reflection? God bless you.